Are we live, guys? I think we're live now, okay? It cut me off there, okay? So it cut me off there. We're back. I think we're back, guys. Okay, so yeah, it actually caught me up there. Okay, that, that was actually my fault. I apologize about that. Okay. So this is going to simplify to six plus two three over two. So divide everything by two. Okay. We're going to have three plus root three. And that is this fully simplified answer. Okay. So x equals. 3 plus root 3. Okay. That's that one done. Okay. Let us try part I. Okay. I, I. Okay. So, what do we have here? Well, we're asked to solve the equation 9 to the power of 3x. Okay. Minus 1 equals 3 root 3. Okay, so write this as a power of 3, so that'll be 3 squared, okay, in a bracket, 3x minus 1, equals, now 3 is just 3 to the 1, root 3 is 3 to the power of a half, so 3 to the 1 yeah, times 3 to the power of a half, Okay, so when it's same basically, and I'm, I'm time zing, then I'm going to write it here. Yeah, um, as the powers here obviously being added together. So here, yeah, so here I'm going to have three to the power of six x minus two. Okay, when I times it, yeah, times out the, the, these two terms. Okay. Equals three to the power of one plus a half, which is one point five k. Right, yeah, right. As that just for the time being, okay. I'm now going to compare the powers of three. So we got six x minus two equals one point five. Add two, yeah, and then obviously divide by six. So we're going to have x equals three point five. Over six, okay. So let's work out. Yes, let's work it out. Three point five. Spot is zero there. Divided by six. Well, six into three, they don't go. Okay, let's but yeah, let's okay. Carry that three there. Six into thirty-five. Go five times. Okay, remainder five. 6 into 50 go 8 times. Remainder of 2. Okay. 6 into 20 go 3 times. Okay. Remainder 2. Okay. So it's 0 0.583 reoccurring. Okay. And that, guys, is question 30 done. Right, question 31, actually. So I think, yeah, we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll obviously call it a day. We might cover, I think, yeah, one or two more, because I didn't get a chance to see it. But I missed obviously a few questions out. Okay. We might do, yeah. So we'll do, actually, we'll do questions. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, you know what, yeah, so let's do 31 first, and then we'll come back here to question 26. So, sorry, yeah, sorry, Hazib, and that's sorry, so, so this, year, so this is more for AS Maths, okay, but it's also appropriate for GC, I think, higher tier, but this is more, yeah, this is more for A-level Maths, yeah, so the first few chapters here in the A-level Maths course, so year 12, yeah, ideally, okay, but bits of it, yeah, May obviously be appropriate for this. 
So AS Matsya is year 12 maths. So when you start A level maths, okay, then AS yeah, is, is like year one of year, so year 12, and then A2 is year 13 maths. Okay. But yeah, so let's do question three on. Okay, so given that K is an integer, express root 18 minus K over 4 minus root 8 in the form A plus B root 2, where A and B are rational. Yeah, to see it in terms of K. So again, let's obviously rationalize it. The times top bottom here by the conjugate now root 18. Oops, sorry guys. Why is it doing that? It's a bit being good for me now. K minus K over. Oops, sorry guys. This is my fault. Why, why is it being like slanted? I've no idea why it's being slanted. Okay, so times top and bottom here yeah, by the conjugate. So times by 4 plus root 8. Over 4 plus root 8. Okay. So again, on the bottom, what we're going to have, guys, well, all, all I do is I, I just do 4 times 4, and then this times this. Hello, A Z H. Welcome, my friend. Hello, hello. Hello, Rosemary. Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. So 4 times 4 makes 16, and minus, remember, yeah, inside the third side, will be 16 minus 8. Okay, so it be over 8 on the bottom. Then I'm going to have root 18 times 4. So that'll be 4 root 18. Root 18 times 8. So slightly more trickier. Okay, a little trick. Double it and then double it and then double it again. Okay, so that'll be root 36. Root 72. And then root 144, if I'm not mistaken. Then we got minus k. Times 4, so that'll be minus 4k. And then minus k times root 8, so that'll be minus k root 8. Okay. You see, all that's going to be over here, 16 minus 8. Okay, so let's just again, just as you simplify this bit here. Hello, Miss S. Welcome. Hello, hello. Hello, Laura. Welcome. Okay, so root 145, so that will go to 12. Okay, root 18 is root 9 times root 2, so that'll be 3 root 2. So that'll be 12 root 2 there, plus 12 minus 4k. And then root 8, guys, is root 4 times root 2. So root 4 is 2. So we're going to have, yeah, so 2k root 2. So 2 root 2, yeah, k, or, or 2k. Um, Okay, and then this is all over 8. Okay, so let's try and yeah, obviously write here, obviously a bit more neater. Okay, so numbers here, so we're going to have, going to have 12 minus 4k. Okay, all over 8. Then we got plus 12 root 2, yeah. So plus 12 root 2. Minus 2k root 2. All over 8. Okay. So we can divide everything. 
by four, I think. Yeah, for the for yeah, it's by here. So if I divide by four, it's going to have three minus k over eight k, and then divide everything by two plus six root two minus k root two. k over 4. So where a is equal to 3 minus k over 8, okay, and then b will be equal to 6 root 2 or, or 6 minus k Lots of root two over four. Okay. And that, guys, is rationalizing the denominator that we have here, something in terms of k, in terms of a letter, okay? So, I think, guys, yeah, I know it's, yeah, it's, it's quite earlier, and I've not actually covered yet every single actually question, but I think we'll call it a day for today. Okay. Any missed questions here, we'll have to cover it in like the next session or I'll do like a video here on any missed questions. Okay. But today it was just a little recap here and going over here just bits of here of the course. Okay. But yeah. Uh so this actually Connor here. So this is actually so this is actually from the AS Pure Math here. So it's for year twelve students. Hello Rebecca, welcome, welcome. Okay. But yeah. I think, yeah, we are, we are about to actually finish now, okay? Um, I might do, like, one more question, okay? So, I'll, I'll do question eight, yeah? So, solve the equation, eight to the power of 2x minus 5. Hello, Depression, welcome, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello, hope you're well. Equals 2 to the x plus 1. So, step one, yeah, write it as a power of 2. Well, 8 equals 2 cubed, so you have 2 cubed all to the power of 2x minus 5 equals 2 to the x plus 1, okay? And it's a power to a power, then we multiply, yeah, the powers together, okay? So 3 times all this, so that'll be 6x minus 15, okay? So we can write it as 2 to the power of 6x minus 15. I can now compare coefficients of the powers of 2. So we have 6x minus 15 equals x plus 1. Okay, so solving the equation. So minus x add 15. So we're going to have. 5x equals 16, divide by 5, and we get x equals 16 fifths, okay, or 3.2, or 3 and 1 fifth, okay, either answer is correct, okay, does that make sense, guys, okay, does that make sense? But yeah, I think, yeah, I think, yeah, we'll call it, I think, like a day there, okay, because I've been going here just over an hour, I think, okay, but yeah, so this was the first session here, so going over here, um, yeah, laws of indices, thirds, um, factorizing here, quadratics here, expanding you know, triple brackets, solving here, quadratics here, um, yeah, with, with that hidden, like, coefficients. Writing as powers, okay. Looking at negative and fractional indices, okay. But yeah, guys, any questions, okay, before I go? Hello, Dario, welcome, welcome. But yeah, guys, I think yeah, I'll call it a day there. Okay. And I'll catch you all very soon, okay? Bye for now.
So hardest topic here for GCC maths higher that is quite a good question here. So I think probably the I think word of year ratio questions or maybe even vectors here I would say. Um but it depends actually what that example yeah, depends what exam board. Um yeah. But guys, yeah, we'll call it a day there. Okay. But I'll put this here on, on YouTube actually tonight for my year twelves. Okay. But yeah, I'll be back soon, okay. Yeah, I would probably say probably vectors maybe. Okay, or those really worded, yeah, grade nine ratio questions, I would say. I mean, vectors is, isn't too bad, yeah. I, I, I quite actually enjoy vectors. Now, actually, I'm, I'm, I'm quite a big fan of vectors, actually, quite a bit. But I think for me, yeah, it's those worded questions, yeah, that are quite nasty, I think, for me, anyway. Yeah. Obviously, teach. Um, but yeah, guys, we'll call it a day there. Okay, if you're not actually following you guys here, yeah, press that follow button. Okay, and I'll see you all very soon, okay? Bye for now, okay? Enjoy your Tuesday evening, okay? See you soon, okay? Bye for now.